to Ashtoberfest. Today is the final day of Ashtoberfest 2020. How, how, how <laughs> did we even get to the final day? I don't know. I wanted to end Ashtoberfest with, well, okay. First of all, my hair. That It's a new hair situation. It's a lot, a lot to talk about. <laughs> I feel like I have a lot I want to talk about, but first let's talk about my hair because, hello, it's new. Um, this is not at all what I asked for. Stay tuned to the vlog to find out what the hell happened <laughs> with my hair. We're fine. I'm I'm okay. Um, I've had a lot of traumatizing hair experiences going to a new stylist, and I went to a new stylist, and big mistake. Anyways, <laughs> I'm super excited to be putting this look together. I mean, this is the easiest look of Ashtoberfest. I knew that I was going to do this one last because I wanted something super easy as like a last minute costume and also my friend Megs who I collabed with on this look uh, she did a really intense not intense but a more in-depth sun and moon kind of look or sun and stars so uh, you'll get to see her look at the very end of this video and I thought it was a nice contrast so this look is so easy this costume really pulls it together I feel like when I was in middle school I saw so many like best friends dressing up as a sun and a moon, one would be wearing gold, one would be silver, and I thought it was the cutest costume ever, and so this just brought me back to middle school for a second. <laughs> and the hair uh, helped the costume as well. <laughs> Wanted to say thank you so much for supporting Ashtoberfest this year, it's been the best year ever, I think we can all agree. It's been so much fun. Um, if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see for next year, you can always leave them in the comments because I start planning for next year, like tomorrow. Ashto we still have another giveaway left, so don't forget to comment on the Instagram post. Um, I will be choosing this week's giveaway winners in a few days, so be sure to check that out. And again, thank you for and again, thank you so much for all your support on Ashtoberfest this year. It's been so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. It's such a weird time, 2020. What's even happening? <laughs> There's still a little bit of merch left as well. If you're interested in checking that out, I know I say that in every video, but we still have a little bit left. Um, and I think that's it. So I'll stop talking and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and get into it. So for this look, I started with the makeup I already had on for the day. I just took off my lashes. And I'm adding a ton of black liner to my lower lash line to get a super smoky moment. I'm also going to be smoking out around my liner that I already have on my lid. And then on one side of my face, I'll be going in with a goldish yellow shadow and then a gold sparkly shimmery shadow over top. And on the other side, I'm going to start off with a dark gray shadow. And I'm also going to add a little bit of a blue over top, I'm adding a shimmery, sparkly blue. Moving on to my face. I already had my base done, but I'm adding a lot more highlighter. So that'll be super shimmery and sparkly. Just gonna go ahead and top off my eyeliner there. And now for the fun part of this look, I'm gonna be covering my entire body pretty much in glitter. So on one side, I'm using a silvery holographic glitter. This one also has stars and moons in it. I'm putting that underneath my eye as well as on the lid and then kind of all over this side of my face mostly my eye and kind of dripping down and for the gold side i'll be doing the same just using a gold glitter instead quickly popping my lashes back on before adding one of my favorite glosses of all time this is from the desi and katie collab with a dose of colors in over the top to add glitter down my neck and chest, I'm using some glitter glue from Shrine. It makes it so you can peel it off. It's super easy to remove. And just adding gold and silver glitter all over. And that's it. So this is the finished look. There's glitter everywhere. I will be cleaning up this glitter for the rest of my life. I already know it. <laughs> it's gonna live with me for the rest of my life. It's all over my rug. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for all your support on the Ashtoberfest this year. It's been insane. I did so much work <laughs> this year. I really hope that you enjoyed it. The photos, shoots have been so much fun working with my mom and my friend Shelby 
and you know having Jace help me build things and collabing with all these creators that I'm so lucky to call friends now. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I know years past if you guys have been here has Trevor Fest a time for me where I get really like down on myself and it's been a mess in the past but I feel like this year I'm really proud of everything that I did so I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it all together for you. I can't believe it's over. It's like, it's almost Christmas. Like, what's happening? I hope you have a super safe Halloween. Uh, if your area that you live in is allowing, you know, you to go out and stuff, I hope that you're being safe. And I hope you eat all the candy. And if you need a last minute look, I'm here for you. I'm your girl. Stay tuned to see my friend Meg's and her look that she created with me as a sun and moon. And I'll see you next year for Ashtoberfest. Bye. Hey, I'm Megs. I'm a professional makeup artist and beauty influencer and a newfound brand owner of Get Stoned. I founded this amazing rhinestone company that's just super fun and cheeky and I like to tie it into my looks. So with Ashley, I did the sun and moon look, but I did, definitely took it a stone way. So I covered it in rhinestones and just did a total half and half moment, but it was so much fun. It's actually one of my favorite looks I've done for Halloween so far. So I've just been waiting to like put it out and I can't wait to see your look too. I struggled with this look at first because I was like, I, what am I going to do? And then I'm kind of weird with like doing my looks. I don't like to look at inspiration of other artists. I'd rather look at like elements or like artwork because I don't know, I never want to like, it sounds weird, but I don't want someone else's idea at the back of my head. And yeah. Like I, if I unintentionally start leaning that way. So I saw like all these people have very beautiful, like where it's like the watercolors with the white, like sun and moon and all that. And it's so pretty, but I was like, so I literally did, no lie, Ash, like four, this looked like four times. Oh no. And I was, like, my sister who I live with, I was like, I cannot do it. Like I can't do it. It's not coming out how I want it to. And then I was like, you know what? Just like sit down, relax. And like, I did them back to back to back and I kept messing up and I was like, I hate it, I hate it. And then I woke up the next morning and I was like, just do it in the morning, have fun, just like relax. And I pulled out my stones and I was like, okay, what stones could I use? And then that's when I was like, okay. And then when it came out and the photos turned out really well too, I was like, okay, I actually really like this look a lot. Yeah. But it wasn't too, too crazy. Like, I like that it wasn't like a lot of like blending for me or anything. It was just a lot of like lines and then like the stones. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was like clean, but like, oh, I love it. So I'm yeah, I love it. And for me, when I'm like, well, with Ashtoberfest, I went like way too crazy this year. Like I took on <laughs> way too much. I'm like, I can't yeah. wait to go to bed. I can't wait to sleep again. Yeah. But <laughs> For me, like, I filmed, like, one of the ones I just put out, the glittery zombie, I had filmed that one, like, way early on, and I didn't like it at all, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna sit back down and redo it, and I did, and I love the one, like, the second one, so I think, like, when we don't like looks, it's almost therapeutic to, like, redo it again, and actually get what you, like, wanted out of it. Yeah, no, I definitely... It's, it's probably hard, too, for you, because I, I mean, like, with your whole, like, October Fest, but, like, in general, for creators, there's, like, a lot of pressure for things to be, like, perfect or viral or, like, something so different, and sometimes it's hard because it's, like, you do it, and you're, like, oh, I don't know if, like, I'm proud of it, but, like, I feel like sometimes, too, the looks that you're, like, I don't really think this is that special, I'll just put it out, sometimes, like, hit super well, and you're, like, wait, what? Yeah. Or, you know, it's, it can be the opposite way, too, but... No, yeah, I was like, I gotta do this till I really love it because, you know, like, I obviously, like, wanted you to be happy with it, too, and, like, all that, but, yeah, once um, I did it, I was like, okay, this, this is it. <laughs> yeah, no, I think everyone's gonna love your look. I already know, like, I've mentally prepared myself for my look to get at least one person who's like, wow, you really, like, didn't do anything for this look, because it's like, I knew that the last look I did, I wanted it to be kind of like a last minute thing because it's at the end of the month. So who's going to sit yeah. there and be like, oh, I'm going to go buy all these things and do this crazy look. But yeah, yeah I can already see the message in my head. Of like <laughs> Someone like, wow, you really got lazy at this one or whatever. Like, Come on, guys. Last minute, I'm trying to give you guys ideas too. I know. Support it, support the <laughs> yeah, so growing up, like I was a professional dancer or like a pro dancer my whole life so I was always like in competitive dance and all that stuff and you were always like cover your whole costume in rhinestones and then I'm born in 97 so I grew up through the 2000s where everyone had like the rhinestone juicy couture suits and all that 
which was super fun. So I always had like a plug to rhinestones, if that makes sense. Like I always knew where to get them. We've been getting them since we were little. Like we were always paying way too much for them though. But I was like, you know, Euphoria came out and it just like spoke to me. A beautiful show. I think a lot of people pull inspiration from Euphoria. Um, but I was driving one day because my boyfriend lives in Palm Springs and I live in the Inland Empire um, in Corona. So I had to drive like an hour 20. And on those drives, I always get my ideas. And I was just like, oh my gosh, there's no one in beauty who has these stones specifically for, you know, face application or hair or nails, which a lot of people have them for like decorating like tumblers and like the cups and all that stuff. Um, but I was like, no one has done it in a way to market it to beauty which is what I think we need because I was tired of seeing everyone buy them off Amazon and then they'd be a hit or a miss or going to like the craft store and they're either way too expensive or they're literally like little bubbles. They're like not even sparkly. <laughs> so I was like, I know that these stones need to be AB. I know that they need to be reflective. I need to find them. So I was able to find them and then I was like trying to think of a name and I was like, I want something cheeky because I feel like I kind of like push the limit a little bit in life. Like I don't like to play it safe, but I like, you know, like to have something fun with it. So um, I actually was wearing the rhinestones to raves. I had like a period where I went to raves and festivals, EDC, Coachella, everything for a while. And everyone would stop me and be like, how come my glitter doesn't look like yours? And I'd be like, cause it's not glitter, like they're stones. And um, a lot of people are like bedazzled or like gems, but to me, like they're stones, like they're, they're rhinestones. I think of like a beautiful, actual like amethyst crystal, you know, not like a craft blue, like something that's more luxurious or more reflective. So I was like, I should call it get stumped. And um, everyone's like, oh my gosh, what? That like sounds kind of like, you know, sketchy or whatever. But I was like, no, like get rhinestones. Like you're putting stones on, you're getting rhinestones. So then that came, that's where get stones came from. And um, yeah, so I was just like, we gotta market this to the beauty community. And I've only been in business for eight months. And everyone's like, how have you like gotten your mask on Ariana Grande? How have you, now I'm working with Euphoria, I'm the official actual sponsor of Euphoria for season two, and there are many episodes coming up, so you guys will see stuff with um, that in HBO. But yeah, everyone's like, how did you do that? And at the end of the day, it's not just eight months of work, it's seven years of me being in this industry and making friends with people and working my butt off and traveling the world with artists and you know making connections with other people. That when it came to me having a brand, and I also like would help guests teach entrepreneurship at RCC and UCR. So I was like, why don't I have my own brand? You know, like I talk about influencing and how you can make money and all that stuff, but I could definitely market my own brand myself. So it's like, I just need to plant it in the right hands. And I, because I've built so many amazing bonds with people, everyone had like no question what to help support because I've always been, you know, so supportive of them. So it just, it's snowballing so fast. Like, um, Nikita Dragon just did a full look for Halloween, head to toe and all my stones. The Ariana Grande one, Grande one obviously went viral. Um, there's some other celebrities that have them that haven't posted yet, but yeah, so it's just, it's been a lot and I'm really excited to come out with like new trends and now working with Euphoria, like I know what's gonna be coming in the beauty world. That beauty world isn't ready for yet or doesn't know yet. <laughs> so um, that's exciting to like be able to know upcoming trends and being able to know like what these creative artists like are thinking like their minds because I think like the best part about having get stone is it's it's creative and I'm all about creative artistry like everyone's like Ariana Grande wear your mask oh my gosh and I'm like that's amazing but the most exciting part to me is like seeing everyone's artistry like that's what I love like discovering new and upcoming artists so like I like to definitely feature like upcoming people who are so talented and maybe they don't have the following yet but I see their artistry like that's what matters to me if once the pandemic and the world heals a bit, I can't wait to see what we can like actually run and do, you know? Yeah. But in the meantime, how do we get our hands on those masks that are so cool? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, you can definitely get the masks on my website. I have a variety of colors. Um, the Ariana Grande one, we are stocking soon, hopefully two weeks. Um, that one is just like in such high demand. That is like, the, have you seen that mask? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. There, that mask in person is insane. Like when you're in light, it's like, it's like, blah, 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 blah. it's yeah. like you're here, here in person. So I write every single note, handwritten myself. I package everything myself. I design everything myself. I'm looking into a graphic designer now, but prior, like my logo is my handwriting. Like my stickers I design on my iPad. Like 
I literally have no marketing, no backing of anything. It's just me really word of mouth and just trying to like build relationships, you know? Yeah. So I'm learning as I go, but um, I'm being thrown in pretty quick. So I have no choice. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me and I will talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.